What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today we're going to talk about the top 10 uses for the power of the sun. We all know that you can power your home with solar and whether that's efficient or the best use of your money, that's a point for debate. What we're going to talk about today are the top 10 uses for solar on a widespread basis that most people would agree make the most sense. Let's get the easiest one out of the way first, charging portable devices. I'm sure we've all seen these small solar chargers by now. They're used to recharge cell phones and tablets. But solar panels are even being sewn into backpacks and tents now, making them the perfect way to extend the life of your electronics outdoors. Number two, attic ventilation. I'm not going to go into the science of attic ventilation, but most homes can benefit from an active fan exhausting air from the attic in the summer. So why pay an electrician several hundred dollars at least to install a new electric circuit in your attic when you can just use a solar powered fan? Number three, passive heating. Not everything on this list is going to be photovoltaics. You can use the power of the sun to heat your home without ever having to convert it to DC electricity. Basically, with creative use of geometry, you can prevent summer sun from coming into your home, but allow winter sun to come in and heat your home. This also requires a little bit different choice of windows and materials for your flooring and walls to get the most effect. Number four, outdoor lighting. No, I'm not talking about those cheap pieces of crap that people buy from Walmart and put on the side of their driveway. Most landscape lighting is 12 volt DC anyway, so it makes sense to just use solar. Obviously, these are going to be used at night, so you would require batteries in your system. But even better than landscape lighting is just point of use light like this street light. Underground power line contractors are expensive, so sometimes it may make more sense just to use solar. Number five, gate openers. Again, underground electricity is expensive to install, so it makes more sense on a rural property to install solar to open and close your gate automatically. I know you're thinking lazy farmers, but if you had to get out of the car to open your garage door manually, you'd be installing one of these too. Number six, fountain pumps. Water features are a great way to add life to your outdoor living space. Luckily, many fountain pumps are already 12 volt DC anyway. So again, instead of going to the expense of installing grid power at your fountain, you can just use solar. Number seven, electronic signs. Almost all construction signs nowadays are powered by solar panels. It's just the best thing to do when all you need is temporary power for a few months. But as more and more street signs are becoming electronic with flashing lights and warning sounds, it's becoming more common for them to be powered by solar to avoid construction costs and utility costs. Number eight, remote communications. There are just some places in the world that don't even have grid power for you to access for communications. Some examples would be military, science, or remote exploration. But solar's also been used for a long time in the oil industry to communicate readings from flow meters, for example. Number nine, solar cooking. For emergencies where fuel is scarce, or maybe you're camping and there's a burn ban in effect, you can turn to solar cooking. With careful use of reflectors and mirrors, you can get really hot temperatures on a pinpoint location. So you can boil water or roast a turkey, whatever floats your boat. And last but certainly not least is water heating. There aren't many more efficient uses for solar power than to heat water. Even in the winter when the sun isn't quite as strong, it's possible to preheat your water so that your normal water heater doesn't have to work quite as hard. That wraps up another video. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.